This is how you launch Nuke Fast in Fallout 76. This allows you to do the seismic activity event, the legendary Windigo event, and and the Scorchery's Queen event, all all of which have high rewards and are really good fun for the whole server. So you're gonna need some you're gonna need some certain items. You're gonna you're gonna wanna complete the main story or the main quest of the game back in the OG days with like the Enclave. So you're gonna wanna be around like level 50 to level 50 onwards. And you're going to want to have a lot of ammo and a certain amount of stuff, so uh, let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want is the missile missile silo holotape. This allows you to see what missile silos are active. Because if someone's launched three nukes in the server, you can't launch you can't launch nukes for another hour. So as you can see, Alf, Alf has got a two hour wait, Bravo has got an hour and 15 minute wait, and just like Charlie has a hour and 45 minute wait. So if I wanted to launch a nuke in this server, I would have to wait hours to do so. So then you would have to flip servers. The next thing you want to do is want to go around killing these enemies on eight digit code for each missile silo, or you can go to a website called Nuke Equip and get the code. So three links will be in the description. The next thing you're gonna want to have a jet pack, pack, pack or a power armor jet jet pack. Now uh, I recommend power armor because it gives you protection in the silo because you'll take a lot of damage. It could be T45, T60, any power armor with, with a jet pack. If you can't craft one, see if you can get someone to craft one for you. And also go in the silo with lots of ammo you're gonna need. It. And if you're bringing in power armor, don't forget lots of fusion cores and make sure your armor guns are fully prepared as well. Fragmentation mines are very important to do in the silo. You can craft them or you can buy them from any vendors or player vendors I recommend bringing in 10 at a time or 5 at a time just in case you make mistakes in the silo Nuclear key cards, you're going to want to bring a couple because if you put in the launch code wrong it will take one of the key cards so you can put in the launch code you can get these from supply requests or player vendors player vendors are easier because you can just buy them so site alpha is here on the map so the only difference is for, for the free silos is the launch codes. So south of site alpha is site Charlie, the north of Charlie is Bravo. And again, you want to you want to look on the nuke equip the right codes because the codes change weekly. Other than that, the interiors are all the same. So it doesn't matter which one you go to, other than the codes. I don't want to stress that enough. So now we are going to use Site Alpha, so you want to go down into the Site Alpha, you want to load in, come to these boxes here, throw down a fragmentation mine, make sure your hands are empty because you want to, you're going to have to throw up, you're going to have to punch and jump at the exact same time, so it's very tricky to do, you can fail, so you want to get the mine like this on the boxes and activate crits, then you want to jump and punch at the same time, sometimes you can blow it up by punching it, and sometimes it, you know, sometimes won't just do it, but keep on trying to spam it, and sometimes we'll go through the map. I know you can you can fall out of the map, but so if you fall out of the map, you've got to go team up and fast travel out of the, out of the silo and back in the silo to do it. Otherwise, you've got to do it the uh, long way round. So if you want to do it the long way round, fast travel back in like I do here. Then you've got to come back in and put the mine back down because it takes away the mine. So just be careful when doing that because it can be tricky as always. If you want to know where I'm walking in between, it's a bin and a computer. So then once you're in the back, you just want to spam attack and a jetpack, and then you want to come all the way over here and jetpack yourself or walk along if you're very careful to, to this place right in right in front of me but it's above me so not so not the room you're seeing here but the room above and that room there is the nuclear silo room and that's where the lockdown happens now each lockdown is different it can be very it can be but well protected with lots of robots or barely or barely any robots can attack you so before you begin I recommend clearing out the room of all the Soltrons, laser turrets because the laser turrets can kill like the, the launch preppers so uh, it's very vital for those who are interested this is a great way to get energy ammo steel and lead so there's going to be quite a few robots before you initiate the launch prep now the launch prep can go fast or slow depending on how many launch preppers you have alive and the chieftain alive if the chief dies you'll have to summon them back in if any of the prep dies it'll be it will take longer but you can summon them back in so if you want it so once you're ready to initiate the launch prep you want to come to this terminal it should be highlighted on your map come down here and it should say initiate launch prep and if you, and you want to come back here if the chief dies or if the launch prepper dies so this right that that dude right there is the chief i will slow it down in a minute to explain a bit more and then robots will start to attack uh, as i say it can vary it could be like lots of robots or it could be very little robots so this dude right here is the main dude if this dude dies that's it it stops and you've got something back in to get it again and these and these red dudes up here are the launch preppers or the launch operators 
purposes, they make it go faster, and then once it's all done, so then you swipe the key card on the left, and it takes up one per swipe, then you got to put the code in, but if you already put the code in for Alpha, Brother, or Charlie, you've got to do it once per week, because the codes change once per week, so once you've done that, you can just literally do, you can literally just swipe the card there and activate the silo. So, now then, the places you're going to want to nuke is Site Prime, so Site Prime's down here below these mines. Uh, and every, everyone fights at the project site too, so there's Site, there's site Prime. There's the Blast Radius and there's Drop Site V9. Now, if you want to fight the Titan, Seismic Activity Event, Nuke Abandoned Mines, and then if you want to give the Legendary Wind a go, which is very hard to do, it's here, yeah, Mangolian Mines, I think that says. It's very hard to do, so make sure you've got a high, lot, lot to play with you and lots of high levels. So, as you can see, the Nuking map is very different. So the nuking map is very different to make sure there's three the name of the places. Then once you click confirm on the nuke, the death from, death from above eventually starts. It says in the event, but it's a three minute countdown. And then you've got to fast travel out of there, so don't panic. So I'm going to fast travel the nuke world on tour. And now if you if you get there in time, you can actually get a pretty good view of the pretty good view of the nuke. Sadly, I did not for the video, but if you want to see a pretty good view of the nuke, we'll walk over in that direction. And then you want to walk up here for the seismic activity event. Now the decides to make an activity event, you're just going to want to destroy the crystals and then the Titan's going to pop out and then you've got to destroy more crystals to kill him and then he's going to go back under and then you've got to destroy more crystals to kill him until he's dead. Congratulations, you have now just launched a new, you can do the Legendary Scorch Beast Queen, the Titan event or the Windigo event whenever you want or just new, or just nuke a friend's base just for the lols. Now this this video was recorded on the launch day of uh, of patch 1.72. Just let you guys know. If you can't make a jetpack at all, you can always add me a little, little gorilla eight, and I'll make you. A, I'll make you. And you can give me the resources to make you a power arm with a power arm torso with a jetpack. And one other thing as well. The link to Nuka Crypt is down below for the nuclear launch codes for Charlie, Alpha and Bravo. Uh, it, they change weekly 8 digits, it saves down going around killing them enemies, it's very handy to have. So just remember that. So this has been the video, I hope you guys all enjoyed, any questions ask them down below, I'm pretty happy on how this video turned out. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for sticking to the end, and yeah, goodbye guys.